Hello everybody, I'm Big Tick, also known as Keegan, and welcome back to Vanilla City Skylines. We're starting off this episode with a beautiful sunrise, uh, looking over what is currently called the battery of this town. We are earning $2,000 currency, whatever you want to call it, sort of every turn, and or every week I believe it is, isn't it? And uh, that's, that's pretty decent, and we don't really have too many complaints, other than the fact that I did forget to put in the uh, the water here, so my mistake, I'll do that right now, there we go, water is fixed. But as I said, not too many complaints, everyone seems pretty happy. What I'd like to do is start work on this section over here, right? I want to get out into the suburbs area, and then once the suburbs is done, I'll start work on maybe some of the more maybe with some of the road, I don't know what that noise was, uh, please forgive me for that. Uh, some of the road planning section out here for what will eventually be the CBD. I obviously don't have access to high density stuff just yet, but uh, I will hopefully by the time I come round to it. So let's start work on the suburbs. I want to continue, I think, this grid a little bit further, but I want to bring it on an angle so at the moment we're going flat across but I'm thinking if we can sort of do a maybe how how wide is this if this is uh that's two blocks essentially right so that is 1280 well that's that's actually four blocks by the time you bring that up at the middle there so one two three four each of them is you know a nice ten so if we go out here one and then we two three four like so, and then we can do another block, and can I get four in here? Not quite. Can I get, I can't quite get four anywhere, but if I bring this back, maybe I don't quite go on the 45, maybe I bring it almost straight, so we'll go two, and two is four, then we'll bring it off on another angle, and we'll do another four, and then another angle for another four. So that's sort of gonna be the, we're going to bring these out on an angle and uh, then connect them up with some more interesting roads just so that once we turn it into CBD, uh, it won't be so perfectly grid based. Uh, and obviously this stuff out here is going to be suburb. So we'll do maybe one as CBD, bring this as CBD and we'll, we'll also turn this into an angle and then around later. But we'll start it now. And while I'm doing this, what I'd like to uh, to announce is that I am going to be changing my schedule just a little bit in terms of video uploads. So before it was two City Skylines episodes every week, uh, one on Monday, one on Friday. However, that is changing now to four episodes a week. There'll be one every day, Monday through Friday. And actually, I want that to come sort of more on that sort of angle. So I wait to have the money. But yes, yeah, so four times a week, four episodes of Vanilla City Skylines a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, uh, released at 12 o'clock every day. And then on the other days, uh, the normal videos. So on Tuesdays, Mountain Blade Warband is down to one episode. It used to be two. And that will be uh, at 1 p.m. These are New Zealand standard time, by the way, so convert that uh, either in your head or just work, Google it. <laughs> That's what I would do. I would Google it. Um, and then on Wednesday, uh, Democracy 3 is now going to be alternating between Democracy 3 gone wrong and Democracy 3 done right. Uh, so this week on Wednesday, it will be D3 gone wrong. Uh, Thursday is still Big Farmer again at 1 p.m. And then Friday is only City Skylines. Monday is also only City Skylines. The weekend might have a couple extra episodes because obviously I'm normally doing two Mountain Blade Warbands. So I still want to release two of them a week. So one of them will probably be on either a Saturday or a Sunday. And then the other day, I possibly every couple weeks will be, well, I will be releasing uh, game design videos uh, and 
things based around the back end of of games instead of playing them but it won't be every single week it'll be every now and then anyway with that out of the way and with a little bit more money rolling in and demand for whoa, hitting the wrong buttons there and demand for residential increasing let's go ahead and just fill these in and make sure they have water which they do which is very very nice and uh, we'll let that fill up now what do i want to do with these roads i think i'm just going to pull these off on as close to that angle as i can get obviously i don't have the uh the compass tool anymore the one that told me sort of the angles i'm working with so i can't tell exactly what i'm dealing with um but hopefully i'm just gonna speed the game up hopefully i get it close um so we'll do one there and i just speed the game up just so i have the money to actually purchase the stuff so we'll go ahead one there and last one and i think that there is the angle i'm gonna go with so we'll just wait uh for a second we'll get the money which is nice and our power is dropping which is what i expected to happen that's perfectly fine uh what is the sony this is commercial that's fine i could go ahead and place another power station i don't have the money for another power station it's nineteen thousand, but it would be kind of nice to place it there but i don't have enough money for anything at all at this point and i am kind of low I am bringing in over 4,000 a turn though. So what I think I'm going to go ahead and do is take the $60,000 loan, which will give me plenty of money and it's not going to drop my, my income too much. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and place in another one of these. There we go. So we now have a second coal power plant. And again, all of this will move at some point, uh, just not right now. So here we go. This is going to be probably the edge of the CBD. And as you can see, it sort of comes over, goes straight. And then this will probably angle off, angle off, and then go around this whole sort of, I want to say peninsula. It's not really a peninsula spit of land, maybe. Um, and yeah, we can get sort of a nice, interesting pattern going on. Uh, however, for now, that's going to be the edge. So let's start looking at suburbs right this is all going to be main main road and in fact will connect into this uh, roundabout here and then i think i'll bring it off just here and we'll start doing we'll go with a straight first and we'll bring this sort of to here and down and then straight across boom and then off of this, we're going to do sort of cul-de-sac based stuff. It's going to be dead ends and curving roads and all that kind of stuff. And I'm going to try and sort of alternate them just a little bit. So we'll go there. We'll go there. I didn't alternate at the beginning, uh, which I do have a reason for, you, which you'll see in just a second. And then this one will come down to here and i think i'll actually connect it up i do want a couple connections they're not all going to be completely separate uh but most of them will be so we'll do something like this and we'll bring one here as well like so we'll just curl it around and we'll leave it there for now actually now down this end i want these ones to sort of ladder a little bit and then this is the one I want to spread out across down here. So instead of all of the roads coming off that main strip, I want I'll, I want this side to have more sort of coming out of the second row. So you've got sort of temp secondary level roads going on uh, just to fill up the space in a little bit of a different way. We'll bring that one along. And as you can see, it's filling up the space kind of nicely and also quite organically, which is what I like. It's not perfectly grid-like. In fact, it's not grid-like at all. And it leaves pretty nice-sized plots of land uh, without, you know, worrying too much about getting it perfect. So that is going to be our suburbs for now. 
Uh, we do have our first abandoned building, so let's go ahead and bulldoze that. Obviously, I don't have automatic bulldoze on uh, in this playthrough because it is vanilla. But that is okay. We have 17,000. How is our power? Power is fine. Water is fine. Rubbish is fine. Obviously, the suburbs don't have it yet, but they don't need it. Healthcare is covered. Uh, symmetry, sort of body removal is covered. Fire could do with some more coverage. So it's going to cost me 12,000. Uh, but I will go ahead and place one up the tip top end here next to the symmetry. Not quite next to the symmetry. We'll put it there. Uh, police, I don't obviously don't have the money for. Um, but I actually think it's fine. There's not really a demand for police at this point. Uh, and education, elementary is fine. And high school... I have yet to build one, but I will soon. As soon as I hit 24,000, I will go ahead and build that. Now, there is huge demand now for residential. So I'll just pause the game before that maxes out. And I'll go ahead and fill in this section with water. Hopefully I have enough money. I do not. I was going to say, hopefully I have enough money to fill this all in. Which, sadly, I don't. But that's okay. I'll do my best. Uh, we'll just wait to hit 1,000. We'll take that one. We are still taking in about 3,000 each turn, which is very, very nice. I will just do a little section of this um, to there. But then I'll run a power line from here to here. And I'll let this wait just a second. We'll run it to there. And then what I'll do is I will zone in these sections for residential. I'll also do this one here boom just like that which will hopefully connect up the uh really water no no you're fine uh which will also help connect the power along with the power lines as we come into day what a beautiful sunrise this i said it last time i'll probably say it every single episode this game Really is gorgeous. Uh, another building needing bulldozing. That's fine. Not too much of an issue. Uh, you are complaining that you don't have enough educated workers. Which is probably fair enough. Uh, however, I do not have the money, unfortunately, to build any more uh, sort of education-based stuff. I will in a second. So don't you worry too much, uh, you pretty little shops. I will get you sorted in just a sec. How is our zoning going? Hasn't filled up entirely, which is fine. Uh, and in fact, I probably don't need this anymore. I probably should have just built this section of housing to start with. Um, and then I wouldn't have needed that at all. That's fine. Water is now... Oh, I, uh, I disconnected the power to the water. My mistake. I do apologize for that. I'll bring it all the way along. Uh, just to make sure we, if any of these get bulldozed, we won't have an issue. Uh, another building needs bulldozing. The education is really something that I'm going to have to work out pretty shortly. Because that is going to be our killer for the commercial zone. I don't need more elementary schools. I'm currently, you know, got plenty to go. It is just this high school that I want to get down, uh, which I can now afford. So the question becomes, where do I want to place it? I'm thinking if I place it here, once we turn this into CBD, it will be kind of central in the CBD, which I, I like the idea of having schools in the CBD. And then we can also have a few out in the suburbs, but not as many. And that will help with the education. Fan. Fantastic. I think it's almost time I start looking at improving the traffic. Uh, I can't upgrade the roads. I could upgrade them, I guess, to the, the four-lane road. Um, but I, what I think I might do is change this one. However, I'm going to end the episode there. I'm going for short episodes because there are now more episodes, as I said, four episodes a week. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.